Welcome back and thank you for spending this part of your Sunday morning with us. Well, the Salisbury Urban Ministries has been serving Somerset, Wacomico and Worcester County for more than 20 years. They do help various ministries. They have various help ministries, including the Kids Cafe. And Carolyn Van Ness has been with us this morning to talk a little bit about the ministry and the ministries within it. Yeah. Welcome. It's Welcome. been good to talk with you. Tell me a, a little more for people maybe just tuning in or still kind of wondering what is this Salisbury Urban Ministries. Um, talk a little bit about the programs you have and, and what it is that you offer. Okay, we have um, quite a few programs and Salisbury Urban Ministries is just there to help people in the community. Um, if you're in need of help, we're located at 326 Barclay Street and you can, there's someone there usually in the mornings from 8 to 12 every day and uh, I'll talk about other hours in a minute. but. Um, if you need help, just knock on the door. We'll be glad to talk to you. Okay. And um, so first we have the food pantry, which is available for clients that are in need. There is a, you ha do need to bring in some paperwork. We do need to see some things. Mm -hmm. Just give us a call. We can give them a list of okay. everything they need. And um, that's from on Tuesdays and Thursdays from 10 until 2. And it's really, and you can come once a month and you come in, give us your information the first time. It's a little, that's the only that's hard the, part yeah. to get registered. After that, well, you just come in, give us your name, show us your photo ID, and uh, we'll be glad to give you a bag of food to take home. And it's got awesome. a few meals at least in it. Um, and another ministry is on Saturdays for homeless men in the area. We do open up, we uh, allow showers. And on the first uh, Saturday of every month, we have haircuts that are free. Also on Saturdays um, around lunchtime is uh, what we call God's Kitchen and it's served at Grace Church which is right across the parking lot from where we are. And that ser they serve usually between 150 and 200 people every, uh, every wow. Saturday. And that's, uh, we have different organizations, different churches that come in and just say, we, you know, we'll take this Sunday and we'll feed the people. Nice. Um, and it, it's kind of, like I said before, just meeting their physical need to lead them to the spiritual. Well, tell us about the Kids Cafe, because it seems like you do have ministries that are serving every aspect of the community and uh, the kids. We certainly don't want to leave them out. Talk right. And this is your baby. Talk <laughs> to us baby. about Kids Cafe. Um, the Kids Cafe is a free after school program, um, and it focuses on three things. One is we focus on doing some sort of craft or activity or a fun time or something like that. And then we focus on homework because that's as, as important as it is to have fun, it's more important mm -hmm. to get your schoolwork done. Um, and finally, we partner with the Maryland Food Bank and we provide the children with a free full meal, full dinner, plenty of food uh, for them uh, each night they come. Nice. And um, you, they do have to be registered. Uh, I, I will have some spots opening up at the first of the year, so give me a call, get on the waiting list. And yeah. What age group? Uh, anywhere between 5 and 14. Right now our children are between uh, 5 and 11. Okay. But um, we're open Monday, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays from uh, 4 until 7. But like I said, you do need to be registered with us. But like I said, come by. We'll give you the forms and you can be put on the waiting list. Now, do, uh, do you provide transportation or do kids need to get themselves there? Uh, we don't directly provide transportation we try to grab we try to get children uh, in our program from that area where they can okay. walk or our mom and dad can walk them um, we do have some that live um, a little bit farther away and we've partnered with uh, Beaver Run East Salisbury uh, schools to um, provide them they can get on the bus that takes them to that area okay. and we come meet them school. yeah we meet them at the bus stop and walk them over what um, now with only four five people on staff uh -huh. I imagine this volunteer is a big part of yes. the Kids Cafe. Volunteering is great. We've been blessed. We um, Last month we had 13 volunteers uh, throughout the whole month. Uh, September we had almost 22. And we um, right now we're looking for volunteers on Tuesdays. But Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, if you have a heart to help children, please come out and help us. Um, all I need is someone for, to sit with them and say, let's do your homework. You're doing a great job. Just encourage them. Um, it doesn't take a lot of skill set. It's not very. It's not a hard job. It's more of you just want to love somebody and help them out. So, like I said, Tuesdays is where we're really in need. If you have a Tuesday evening free, we'd love to have you. But other than that, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, any day. And so, with the kids, do you have any stories where maybe a child comes in not really sure what this <laughs> thing is, this yeah. kids cafe, but then kind of after spending a couple of 
days or a couple of weeks with you, do you see the light come on for some kids after being cared for and loved on and maybe a way some of them never have been before? Yeah, we do. Actually, last night we, uh, were a we, were, um, we had enough funding to provide them with winter coats. So we went out and bought winter coats in all their sizes and um, I told the kids that there was going to be a surprise. And um, they were like, well, give us a hint. I said, well, it's going to be warm. And they had no clue. They thought <laughs> they were dead set that I was going to give them hot chocolate. Okay. But, uh, you know, I... Even I, better I, yeah. than that. <laughs> right. Yeah. So I pulled, um, I, we pulled them in one by one, and we said, we said, here's your winter coat. And we got their favorite nice. colors. And one of them looked at me and said, Miss Carolyn, is this my coat? Oh, Do sweet. I have to leave it here? I said, sweet. no, buddy, it's yours. You can take it home. So I love it. It was a, it was a great moment. Thank you You're for welcome. sharing with us this morning. How can we contact you? Um, give us, uh, the office is 410-749-1563. Okay. Um, you can email me at sumchildrenyouth at gmail.com. Thanks, Carolyn. Yeah. All right. Thank you for watching Good Things Don't Marva. If you have good things you want to share, email me at lanita underscore wesson at wmdt.com. Have a wonderful and purpose-filled day. We'll see you next week.